guys, so today I have my Ipsy unbugging for the month of May, and obviously I know it's June, but funny story behind this. I actually got my code on the 12th, you know, saying that it was in Grand Prairie where it comes through at, and it got lost. My bag got lost. So I had to contact Ipsy, you know, saying my bag was lost, and they sent me a replacement which just got here today. Now, funny story behind this. Okay, so the bag got lost. It The code was inactive for like uh, two weeks give or take and I'm sorry if y'all hear any noise it's it's crazy around here but it went inactive for about two weeks from the 12th until like the 20th 24th 28th somewhere around there so I contacted Ipsy they you know understood they sent me a replacement which just got to here today like I said and it is what June 5th so I'm getting this bag you know when I was, you know, when it's already June and I was supposed to get it like May 12th ish in that area. So, yeah, they sent me a replacement. So, technically, I have two Ipsies. I, I got two Ipsies. But the first Ipsy was lost, like I said. So, tragically sad. It's the first time it's happened. But I did get that bag like a couple of days after they had sent me the replacement for it, which, you know, I'm kind of happy I have the replacement, but kind of not. And I'll get to that in a minute. So, I guess I'll go through the one that I was supposed to get and tell y'all what happened and all that good stuff. So, I'm sorry if this gets kind of long winded, but y'all know I, I talk a lot. So, the bag looks like this um i actually do like the bag it's very cute i love the green and the canvas material some people don't they prefer the plastics it's easier to clean there's an airplane going over so i'm sorry if you'll hear it but there is obviously nothing in this bag right now because i have taken the stuff out i have messed with it a little bit but not a lot the card we got for this should i even say this month but last month technically but the bag was called fresh picks if y'all can see that um they you know the card is just saying what companies were affiliated with ipsy this month last month it's gonna be like this this whole video i bet uh, anyways so in my bag which everything that was in it was what was in my glam room which i saw my glam room ahead of time i got uh i'll do this first, I got one of the Nail Teeny nail polishes. This is my first Nail Teeny, I believe. Nail Teeny affiliates with Ipsy a lot. I have noticed that, but I got it in the color Champagne. I believe this is my first one. I could be wrong, which I think the last polish I got through them was by Zoya, which you know how things are with bags like this. It gets, it gets very confusing trying to keep things straight, but I did get the Champagne color, which is very pretty. I do like it. It's metallic, so I can't wait to put this on my nails. I haven't done it yet. Look at this atrociousness going on here. I still haven't fixed this crap going on. Once I try this and, you know, wearability and stuff, I will update how this goes. Probably on Instagram if y'all want to follow me there. You know, be my guest. But, yeah, I got the nail teeny in the champagne color. The next thing I got in my bag, which I think everyone got, like, literally everyone, um, was the Hang 10 uh, sunscreen in um classic sport natural sunscreen uva uvb protection broad spectrum spf 50 the one with the little footprints on it this i actually thought was going to be a humongo bottle it actually really isn't it's, it's it's now it's full the sample size is full and it is a nice little travel thing to take in my purse and stuff if i go to the beach or something and it is real nice to have but i thought this tube was going to be a lot bigger and it really wasn't that big. It's still a generous size, probably at least one ounce, I'd say, give or take. But um, I have used this on my face with going outside. It did not break me out, so that's one thing I can say about this. The odor smells real sunscreeny, obviously, but nothing bad about it. And it's not really that greasy. I mean, it's still greasy, but not super duper greasy where it's annoying. But yeah, I got the Hang 10 sunscreen. Next thing I got was the Eel Thermal. Avain, you 
the thermal spring water spray. I have not used this yet. As y'all can see, the plastic is still on here because it's meant for like rejuvenating your skin, I think, to make you feel fresher or something. I could be wrong. I probably am. But this is actually a decent size. It is a can. So it's a spray. Um, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, it's 1.76 ounces, so that's pretty decent for a you know, sample size, I guess it's their travel size, it'd be more accurate, but is, I, this was the one thing I was looking forward to in my bag, was this guy right here, because it's meant for soothing and softening, as it says, like, right there, <laughs> and I didn't, yeah, so, but yeah, I got that. Next thing I got was the Pure Lease, uh, Pure Moist Hydra Balance Moisturizer, this is a face moisturizer for normal dry to dry, sensitive anti-aging, uh, this, I do not have normal or dry skin really on my profile thingy. I have combination, I think, maybe, I don't know, to oily, strictly oily. I don't really get dry skin. I definitely don't have normal skin. So, um, and I don't need anything for anti-aging. Maybe the sensitive part, maybe, maybe the sensitive part. But I have not used this yet because it has, still has the little foil thingy on it. It is sealed. I forgot to mention the Hang 10 had a foil thingy over the tip of it. I forgot to mention that. It did have a little foil thing protecting it in that sucker. But I have not opened this. I have not used it yet because I'm savoring the moment when I use this because I really don't need it right now. And I hate using stuff and opening it when I don't need it and then it dries up quicker and all that good stuff. I might keep this for the fall or winter. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. All right, so the last thing that was in my bag for May was the Pacifica eyeshadow. Now, this is a bit terrifying. I got it broke. It, it I tried to fix it, if y'all can tell. It's the uh, Duo Number 2. I have not used this yet. I don't even have this plastic thing on it because I'm so afraid because it closes real hard that the shadow is just going to pop right out. But my mailman broke the eyeshadow. And the only reason why I say my mailman did was because I had a substitute. This is the one that was lost now. Okay, this is the one that was lost for two weeks. I finally got the bag. I had a substitute mail person and the mail person literally threw my bag. This thing right here, like, you know, just chunking it like about eight feet onto the concrete. No, you don't do that. No, you just don't. And so then you have put like fragile on these bags because if you don't have your normal mail person and they don't give them the message, you know, you get this once a month type of thing and the substitute don't know no better because it does not say fragile on here. So they just chuck it, you know, t toss it. And it, it's horrible because there was eyeshadow in there. And yeah, so the only reason why I say my mail person broke it was because uh, the eyeshadow had actually completely fell out of the pan that it's in. So the duo eyeshadows were actually up out of the pan, like it was, you know, falling out. So that's why it looks like crap, if y'all can see that maybe. I have not used it, it's, it's pretty bad. If it would have been broken in the shipping process, this would have been like complete powder and I would have had like a duo thing going on with that dark color and the, the, the highlight. I would not have what this looks like right now and it still looks like crap, so. Mm. But yeah, that is what my Ipsy bag was for the month of May. Onto the one that was my replacement. Now, the replacement was for it being lost, not for the broken eyeshadow. Y'all get me here? So, I couldn't, you know, tell them, well, the bag was lost, it came, um, they sent me a replacement for the one that was lost, and I get the one that was lost with the eyeshadow broken. How am I gonna, you know, ask them, can you send me another one because the eyeshadow was broken? No, I'm not like that. So, this guy right here is just gonna have to float being broke. Even though it's like Pacifica and it was the most expensive thing in the bag, I'm sure. So, quite disappointing. But, I got my replacement bag. I did get the same bag. So, I have two of these wonderful bags, which is so awesome. But, I was told that if they did not have any more of certain things I was supposed to have gotten, they might send me something else from a previous month that they still have. So I was kind of concerned with that because it's like, okay, well, the stuff I got wasn't really that fantastic anyways, so how could it get worse? It kind of did. 
So when I opened this bag, which is the one that came today, it has, I got another damn card, you know, how that goes. But I got the same moisturizer. I got the same moisturizer, normal to dry, sensitive, anti-aging, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. Has a safety seal. I'm just gonna fly through this really quickly because I don't wanna make this any longer than I have to. I got the Hang 1050 sunscreen again. So this kind of makes up for it. Now I have two of them. So it's like I got a full size nearly. But um, I'll show y'all that it comes with a safety seal on it so y'all can see that. So yeah, it's nice to have that. I also got another Avene spray thing um, for the soothing and softening sensitive skin sprayer so I've got two of them now which is pretty cool because now I don't have to be careful about using it I got another nail teeny nail polish I was so hoping that I would have got the other color just by you know possibility but I got the same color the champagne color so that's kind of disappointing so now I have two <laughs> nail polishes the same color so I might include this one of them in a giveaway or something or you know, something like that. Y'all, I, I don't know. But um, I have two of them now, so mm, fun. And the thing that was so disappointing was I did not get a Pacifica eyeshadow. They must have ran out. So I did not get a replacement for the one that broke. But instead, I got mm, the City Color White Cold Mousse Highlighter. So, this is very interesting because I got this. I have not used the one that I got yet. So, I have another one. And it's the same color, same everything. And it's just like... It's really... It, anything but this. I would have loved anything but this right here. So, I was kind of bummed I did not get a Pacifica eyeshadow. You know, exactly what I, like what I got. Or was supposed to have get, gotten... Get, got, got, I can't speak so it's quite sad I really wanted the Pacifica eyeshadow to be intact not broken you know but I didn't get that one mm. so that was the one thing I did not get that was identical to the bag that was lost so I'm not completely disappointed with Ipsy their customer service was pretty nice um, you know they did send me a replacement at no cost to me as far as I know I haven't looked at my you know summary for my payments to make sure I wasn't charged but um, they did do this on the bag that was the replacement customer commodity or whatever so that they you know knew that it was a replacement I guess and it was you know something like that I don't know but um but yeah so that was my ipsy for May um if I have any updates or reviews on anything, I will post the stuff on my Instagram. Or if you specifically want something reviewed for, you know, you know, just for yourself, you want me to review something, let me know in the comments below and I will review any of this stuff for y'all. Obviously, it's like the same stuff, just duplicated. But, um, I'm serious. Just let me know. I will review stuff, ah, if you ask me to. That is it for my Ipsy. Um, again, this is a $10 a month subscription service. It is beauty products. This month was more skincare-ish type stuff. Other than the, uh, nail polish and eyeshadow. Granted, but, um, you do get what you pay for. I definitely got my money's worth, I think. Especially because I got the replacement bag. That definitely made you know, the bummer bag for this month that everyone says was horrible. Not that bad, but that is it for my May Ipsy bag. And I want to thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all next time. Bye guys.